Hi, I'm Vinny. And I'm Elise. And together we have our two dogs, Max and Henley. In September of 2020, we moved into the van. And on January 3rd of 2021, we took off on our travels. Our goal is to see every state and every national park. Welcome to our van tour. <laughs> This is our Van Freedom. She's a 2015 Freightliner Sprinter 170 Extended. On top, we have four 100 watt solar panels and two Max Air fans. At the back of the van, we have the garage. Now, we have our bug nets up because we're in Florida right now and we're kind of in the Everglades and the skis are pretty bad. But inside here, you'll find we have our dog food for our dogs. This is our, our tools, extra spare tools, our leveling blocks. Our max tracks in case we go into the snow, the mud, or the sand. Uh, all these containers are full of our camping gear. We have our snowboard gear, um, extra clothes and storage. We got the deaf fluid because this is a diesel and it requires deaf fluid. Um, over here we have our clothes basket. And then behind all this is our battery system and our water system. So let's take a look into that. All right, underneath here, we have a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter by Ames. We have two 100 amp hour lithium ion batteries by Battleborn. Then we have our adventure charge controller from Renergy, our fuse block, our fuse panel for our 110s. And then we have our jump box back here in case we break down on the side of the road. It can charge us, it can air up our tires, or you can plug stuff into it to help you too. Uh, got our snowboards for our snowboard gear. So eventually we're gonna be going and doing all the mountains around. Uh, we have two and, a half two and a half gallon hot water heater. This bad boy's our fridge. And then over here, we have our SureFlow water pump along with our 33 gallon of fresh water tank. Um, and then just more storage back there. All these lights are truck bed lights that we just wired in so we could have lights underneath here when it's dark. And then this is how we fill our water tank. Got a ball valve on there. We just hook a hose up to here with a filter and then fill it up. And then after we're done, just close it. And that's our garage. All right, now let's take a look inside. All right, so as you first come in, in the van, on our step, we have our collapsible table. As you come up, leads you to our light switches. The top one is for the lights underneath our overhead, and the bottom one is for the lights up above us. There's nothing on the middle one yet, but it's always good to have an extra switch. Right here is our bottle opener. That's a necessity when you're out camping in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> which leads us into the cab. Our passenger seat is on a swivel, which is Henley is enjoying at the moment. And then between the two seats, we also have our backup camera, our console for just normal radio and things like that and then the dog beds usually hang out between us. This is Max's favorite spot and then Henley usually hangs out by my feet when we're driving. Above me is our overhead shelf. It houses three baskets. This one here has extra towels, the middle one has some card games, and then the one on the other side has some arts and crafts stuff. As you come out from the cab, it takes you to our dining room. I normally sit here when we eat, but he usually hangs out in the passenger seat, and our lagoon table mount makes it possible for us to eat right here. It also allows this table to swivel, so if I'm editing videos or working on a couple photos of mine, I can do that here. You can also spread out on this nice bench that we have here and lounge for the rest of the day if you want to. When we're all done eating and we want to take down the table, it just slides off right here. This swivels around. And then it tucks in nicely behind the path, the driver's seat. Like that. On this side of the bench, we have our three hooks. They fold down and go back up if we want to get them out of the way. And we have two more on this side of the bench, up above, and they work perfect for our winter coats. Underneath the bench, we have four different baskets. The one on the far end, that's the biggest, houses all of our shoes. The one next to it has all of our dog stuff, like treats and leashes. 
This one has a seasonal clothing. Right now it has swimsuits in it. In the winter it has beanies and mittens and things like that. And then the far one is always hoodies because we have a lot of them and we really like them. <laughs> I would pull them out, but Max is way too comfy right now and I'm not gonna ask him to move. Across from the bench in our dining room leads us to our kitchen. On the very end, we have a pop-up and it gives us a little bit more counter space. It was perfect. I'm really glad we added this. It's a one and a half inch butcher block countertop. We epoxied it ourselves. We cut out a hole for our two burner propane stove. The propane is housed underneath the sink, but I'll show you guys that later. Which leads us over to our sink. This is our Ruvati bar sink. It's super deep and it houses all of our pots and pans perfectly. Up above it is our faucet. It has a few different functions on it and it can pull out and become a sprayer. It works really good too. Above it is gonna be our paper towel holder. It's on a ratchet, but my mom taught me this trick where if you just clip it with a bar, with like a bag clip here, your paper towel hose won't fall off anyway. <laughs> Over to this side is gonna be our fruit basket. Right now we have pears and apples, my two favorites. <laughs> and below it just has some um, hand sanitizers, some soap to wash our hands, and then some lotion as well, because that hand sanitizer really dries it out. Underneath the sink, we have our 20 gallon propane tank, a five gallon gray water tank, and we have a perfect view of our fresh water tank so we can always tell what our water level is. Because our kitchen galley is so long, we have a really nice countertop space, but we also have a ton of storage underneath it. In this top drawer here, we have all of our silverware and our little bowls, measuring cups, some extra utensils and things like that. Below it is all of our toiletries makes it nice and easy to reach all of those. Underneath it is a really nice big deep drawer that houses all of our pots and pans and our mini waffle maker. Starting at the bottom drawer on this side, we have all of our extra pantry stuff. This is mostly canned goods. Above it is gonna be our junk drawer. It's a little bit of a mess right now, but isn't everyone's? <laughs> Above it is all of our plates and cups. Our two coffee cups, extra just normal water cups. These are really cute. They're like little mason jars. And above that is all of our spices and all of our other cooking utensils, including our lighter to um, light our propane stuff. We made this ourselves. So every single drawer is big enough to hold a can and all of these hooks are used so they keep our drawers shut while we drive. Our upper cabinets above our bench kind of double as more toiletries and some pantry storage. So on this side we have some pastas and things like that. And on this side we have all of our shower stuff and some extra towels and pillowcases and things. As we jump over to this side, it's gonna be all of our salts and oils, some extra coffee, a lot of our bread goods, um, some extra Tupperware and our Chemex. Across from the sink is gonna be our full size shower. Vinny's 5'10 and he fits in here just fine. On our shower head, it has this handy on and off switch. So once you get the water to the temperature that you like it, you can just hit that button, pause the water flow so you're not wasting extra water. As you go down toward the floor, you see our trash bag here. It's just held on with command strips in this handy dandy little basket. And then our do it yourself composting toilet. But we like to keep the water bowl and the food bowl in the shower for the dogs. Just in case if something spills, it never makes a mess. Underneath our bed here at the end is gonna be our Dometic 110 liter CRX fridge. It's a 12 volt fridge. And it also has a freezer just in case you wanna bring ice cream on the road. Our bed is a full size queen bed. I can sit up pretty easily. Vinny gets a little close, but that's okay. <laughs> on our upper cabinets on this side is all of Vinny's clothes. And then this side is all of mine. Our bed didn't quite reach wall to wall, so I built these little cubbies to go next to our bed. They hold all of our socks and underwear and things like that. Right above me is our Max Air Fan. It has 10 different speeds. It comes with a remote, and when we're in bed, we can reach it fine. It's really nice for those hot nights when you want to turn the fan on and get some breeze coming through here. On the other side of the bed, we have an LED light strip that I put along the wall here. It also comes with a remote, so when we're going to bed, we can turn those lights on instead of these harsh ones up above. When we're not driving and we're parked, we usually put up our Explorer Outfitters window coverings. They're really nice, they snap really well, but they also have magnets on the edges, so they snap perfectly to the rim around our windows on our front door. 
they fold up really well. And then when we're driving, we just throw them on our bed. Underneath our passenger seat, we have the Chinese diesel heater. Um, the thing works great. I highly recommend it. It heats the van great, and sometimes it heats it a little too well. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our van tour. We hope you liked it. If there's something you saw in our van that you liked, links are in the description below. If it's not on there, feel free to message us. If you like this video, hit that like button down below and make sure to hit the subscribe as well so you can travel along on our adventures as we cross the country. We post videos every Friday. We'll see you guys on the next one.